by Ernest Lawrence Thayer. It looked extremely rocky for level 9 that day. The score was 2-4, to four, but with one inning left to play. So when Cooney died at second and burrowed to the scene, a palerita features the patrons of the game. A straining few got up to go, leaving there the rest with that hope that springs from within the human breast. For they thought, if only Casey would get a whack at that, they put up even money now with Casey at the bat. But Flynn preceded Casey. And likewise, so did Blake. And the former was a pudding. And the latter was a fake. So on that stricken multitude, a death-like silence sat, for there seemed but little chance of Casey's getting to the bat. But Flynn had fly a single to the wonderment of all. And the much despised Blake, he tore the cover off the ball. So when the dust had settled, and they saw what had occurred. There was Blakely, safe at second, and Flynn a hugging third. Then from a gladden multitude went up a joyous yell. It rumbled in the mountaintops, it rattled in the tail. It struck upon the hillside and rebounded on the flats. For Casey. Mighty Casey was advancing to the back. There was ease in Casey's manner as he stepped into his place. There was pride in Casey's bearing and a smile on Casey's face. And when responding to the cheers, he lightly dealt his hat. No stranger to crack a doubt, to his Casey at the back. Ten thousand eyes were on him as he rubbed his hands with dirt. Tongues applauded as he wiped them on his shirt. And when the writhing pitcher ground the ball into his hip, defiance glanced from Casey's eyes. A sneer curled Casey's lip. And now the leather covered spear came hurling through the air. And Casey stood watching it. An oddy grandeur there. Close by the sturdy batsman, the ball unheated sped. That ain't my style, said Casey. Strike one, the umpire said. From the benches black with people, there went up a muffled roar. Like the beating of strong waves on a stern and distant shore. Kill him! Kill the umpire! Someone shouted from the stand. And it's likely they'd have killed him had not Casey raised his hand. With a smile of noble charity, great Casey's vigils shone. He stilled the rising tumult. He bade the game go on. He signaled to the pitcher. And once more the spheroid flew. But Casey still ignored it. And the umpire said, Strike two! Fraud! Fraud! Cried Madden Thousands. And the echo answered, Fraud! Fraud. But when scornful look from Casey and the audience was odd, they saw his face grow stern and cold. They saw his muscles strain, and they knew that Casey would not let that ball go by again. The sneers gone from Casey's lip. His teeth are clenched in hate. He pounds a cruel vengeance is back upon the plate. And now the pitcher holds the ball. And now he lets it go! And now the air is shattered by the force of Casey's blow. <sighs> oh, somewhere in his favorite land, the sun is shining bright. The bland, the band is playing somewhere, and somewhere parts are light. And somewhere men are laughing, and somewhere children shout. But, but there is no joy in Mudville. Mighty Casey has struck, struck out. out.